What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Fisherman Dad, Jimmy. Woo! I haven't posted in about two weeks. My bad, everybody. I've been really busy with life. But that doesn't mean I haven't been grinding. I've been out fishing. I've been out filming. Having fun still. I just haven't had time to sit down and edit a video. We're going to be fishing the brand new su sushi bugs? Zushi bugs? Sushi, but with a Z. Zushi. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think that's how you say it. We're going to be fishing the new Zushi bugs by 10,000 fish. So that brings us to this. This video is actually sponsored by our good friends at Carl's Bait and Tackle. Carl's Bait and Tackle. You can find anything from Z Man to like Guggen Baits. Everything you need is on Shop Carl's. You get free shipping pretty much on all their products. Go check them out. I'll leave you link. I'll be leaving the link down below where you can find them. Let me get to the trunk of this car. I'm actually in my wife's car. I don't want to bring my truck. Let's uh, go rig up, go look at these bugs, and uh, see you guys on the GoPro. All right, guys, we're in the trunk. We got junk in the trunk. Don't mind my wife's junk in the trunk. Hmm? But uh, here we go, guys. We take them out of my bag. We got the brand new Zuchi bugs. Zuchi, not Zushi, with a CH, not a SH. Zuchi bugs by 10,000 fish by Catchco, dude. These things freaking crazy looking. Check out flutter wings and trickle tail. This is pretty much like an alien creature, creature bait. <laughs> like this thing came straight from outer space and I don't think a fish has ever seen anything like this. And I'm pretty sure they'll want to eat this. This is in the five inch. I, I do not know if they make any other sizes, but these are five inch. We're going to be throwing this on a Texas rig. Look, step on the freaking pile. Dude, what's up with me and ants lately? Stepping on ants everywhere I go. All right, hold on. Let me lock this car. All right, I'm just bringing the bugs and the and my rig because I might get kicked out. There's people doing the lawn right here. But um, yeah, we're gonna be throwing this on our Texas rig. I got on my Guggen Go To rod on the little. I don't know what kind of. Oh, I think this is actually a Harmony hook. I got from uh, my mystery tackle box. And we got a little weight right here. I don't even know the size of this weight. One eighth of an ounce weight. It's not tungsten. Well, I think it's like painted tungsten. I don't know. All right, guys, let's take, a, let's take our first look at these bugs. Love them packages are like this when they're just like individually packaged like that. It makes a bait stay true to its movements when like it doesn't get all crumbled up. Dude, this thing is crazy looking. What the heck? Dude, look at this thing, guys. Look, it has like little wings, like some type of flappy kicking. <laughs> it reminds me of like a creature mermaid looking thing. Look, it even has like little like um, honeycomb back to it. You see that? Let me see if I can zoom it in. You see that like honeycomb back? I wonder if that helps it in the water swim better. I'm gonna rig it up already. Um, I think it's gonna go. Let's go like this. We're gonna put that honeycomb back facing up. Just gonna Texas rig it. Dude, this thing looks crazy, bro. <laughs> oh man. 10,000 fish always bringing out the most unique baits ever, I swear. And the first cast on a Suchi bug. We're gonna throw it under this tree, make it look like a, it's like a lizard or something falling down. Bird. We might get kicked out of the spot right now, but we'll give it a shot. See if we catch a fish before we do. I want to see the action on this thing. Oh my gosh, dude, what the heck? I need to show you guys. I need to find some clear water, like right where I could film. Oh, there's actually a bass looking at it. There's actually a bass looking at it. Is that a bass? Oh no, it's a bluegill. It's a little bluegill. I thought it was a little bass. Dude, this thing is sick. Want to this side, ah. dude. This thing looks crazy, dude. <laughs> Let's hope I don't get snagged because I didn't. I left all my terminal tackle in the car. 
kind of curious to see how fish is going to eat this because it's a pretty big profile like creature bait like i don't want them to just I want them to just strike the tail i want them to like eat the whole thing they'll probably eat it head first but we'll have to see when we get a bite because you, you can kind of tell when you get a bite when they just hit the pinchers you kind of just feel them hit the pinchers really good moving water right here there's a little breeze I love fishing when it's windy. Not like super windy, but like this is good. Because it just pushes everything, it gets the bass moving. They're out looking for food because they know everything's getting pushed around. I'm just kind of work that bottom. Just kind of twist the rod up and down. Just work the bottom. Something's biting at it. Something peck at it. Something bit it. I think that was a bluegill. I think the fish should either be in this moss stuff or right outside of it. <clears throat> Especially right now when the sun is sitting this way. Or they're gonna be over there by those trees. Oh, I see a bass, I see a bass. I see a bass. I just saw him. Hold on. I just saw a fish. Try to cast it right there where I saw. Right there. Dang. I think we might have to make the move, boys. We might just have to make the move. Oh, I've snagged. What did I catch? What is this? Like an old t-shirt. Oh. I didn't even got my pliers on me. Is out the water? I don't know what the heck this is, but uh... Oh, I can't, that, that, that's so heavy, dude. I'm just gonna leave it there. It stinks. It smells so bad. All right, guys, let's make the move. Hit another pond. Guys, right, so we're at the spot, second spot. This spot's kind of weird. I got to jump a fence to be able to fish it. There's absolutely no fish in here, and I'm jumping a fence. So I'm giving it a full send right now for the uh, sushi bugs. But I think I'm just going to take just my rod. Um, I'm going to take just my rod. I'm not going to take the pack of bugs. I just want to stay super low key real quick in and out hopefully we catch a fish and we don't get kicked out before we do but if we do then i'm gonna have to find another spot like the car make sure i'm recording yes sir i'm stuck on a bush all right let's go <laughs> says no fish in here there's a whole bunch of ducks right there where i want to fish thanks a lot guys <laughs> dude there's no shade here and these fish are gonna be out deep. No axes beyond fence allowed. This right here, real quick, before I jump the fence. Oh my gosh, I got hit, dude! First cast, something bit, something bit it hard. First cast. I don't know what it was. No way. Maybe missing it. Look, told you guys that was a bass. That was straight up a bass. I hit it first cast. <laughs> oh my gosh, I wish he would have ate it. He just like, it felt like he bit it and spit it right out. That's how I felt. I just, or maybe I set the hook too early. Let me try this little bush right here. I'll be a bass in this bush. There might be bass on all these little bushes. You used to be able to fish this pond when uh, before they built these apartments. They built these apartments and they built a fence around it. Little turtle. I'm sure there's not a bass there. There's a turtle there. Corner right there. I think that's the main office for this place. So 
I'm just gonna give her a full send right now. And uh, jump this fence and go fishing. <laughs> Cause out they're gonna be real mad. I'm talking about real mad. That's the last thing I wanna do is get snagged. Something bit it again. Those look like bluegill. Y'all see that? I think those are bluegill. Oh no, that was a bass. That was a bass. I'm over here playing around thinking it was a bluegill. Dude, that was a bass, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh. Dude, a bass just chased it all the way. <laughs> this bass chased it. I saw him. I was reading it in. Heck yeah, let's go. Let's go. On a Suchi bug. Whoo! It was a grind catching this little guy. <laughs> I'm not even mad. He's a ding, guys. Oh man. Check it out. On the Suchi bug. This Yes, you know, you know, you know, bass like it. Let me get a few pictures of this guy for Instagram and then we'll uh, let's see, I'll give him a little nice release. This guy chased it, he came out of that bush right there, like chased it and just smoked the bug. And uh, here we go. I put him closer, he might look like a bigger fish, but he's a fingerling, he's gone. That was so cool. The way he ate it, he just straight up chased it all the way over here. I saw him chasing and I gave it a, I think I gave it a quick pause. I'll have to look at the footage, but I think I like paused it and then he ate it. So when I give it that pause. I'm trying to go back here. Ooh, this is thick, thick, thick. Yeah, I used to be able to fish all this, but I guess it's overgrown. I'm gonna jump in this fence right here. Try to fish that, that right side over there. And if we don't catch anything, we'll call it. <sighs> hey, hey, you guys didn't know I was athletic, huh? <laughs> that wasn't a bass jumping, that was a lady jumping in the pool. <laughs> Uh-oh. This guy's yelling at me. This guy's yelling at me, bro. This guy's yelling at me. <laughs> Should I keep walking? Should I give it a cast? Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give it a cast. Or should I just walk in circles? <laughs> There's a whole bunch of ducks here. All right, let's go. That guy's following me. Just gonna keep walking. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Look, what is he doing? Look at him. <laughs> oh, he gave up, he gave up. I had him walk him from all the way over there to here. Let's get out of here, dude. <laughs> he was yelling at me. He was like, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, bud. You got to walk all the way back now. My bad. All right, guys. What an adventure with the sushi bugs. I almost got kicked out like last second. I made that guy was walking from the corner. I, I saw him come out the building earlier. And when I was walking this way, because remember I said I was going to try to fish his right side. He was like, hey, hey. And I just turned around and kind of gave him a look and I kept walking and he was trying to flag me down. He was chasing, not chasing, but following me. But as soon as he saw me go this way, he was like, oh, I'm walking back. I guess he saw me leaving, but the sushi bug did it. We caught ourselves a Dean Connor. It is a grind. I'll tell you what, it is a grind because it's so hot out here. But you know what? This bait 
I think it's going to produce in the um, in the spawn time because just the way the profile of it, like it's so big, like the kicks, that's going to cause like those bed fish to like just attack it. I think this is going to be super good during the spawn time. It reminds me of like a, like a trench hog, but like on steroids, just freaking so cool looking that's gonna do for today guys make sure you guys go check out our good friends at carl's bait and tackle where you can find these sushi bugs and uh much much more products by 10,000 fish they make all sorts of things everything from swim baits to little like ned rig looking baits called the uh, sakoshi bugs those things are super unique too head out of here guys i'm gonna go edit this video upload it as soon as possible because that was pretty funny right there <laughs> i kind of i should have let him come to me and tell me something but i, I don't want to start any like confrontation but and i want to keep coming back over here so i'm kind of glad i'm in my wife's car so he won't notice this car he'll notice my truck they won't notice my truck next time i come in but um that's it i threw it on texas ray on like 20 pound braid um i think this is recommended on a ewg hook i wasn't throwing a ewg hook i was throwing like a j hook you guys subscribe to fisherman jimmy make sure you guys go follow me on instagram all the all peace